This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. David wants to know, hopefully it's not too late to ask a question, but I recently heard a story about a match between Angelo Savaldi and Danny Hodge, where Angelo says he was stabbed by Danny Hodge's father. Can you elaborate on this story? Well, that's a true story. My gosh, what happened? Well, uh, Angelo was a heel. Danny's father, along with most of the audience was, was a smartened up to the business, right? Danny never smartened his dad up. Danny's father always believed that wrestling pro wrestling was real. And, uh, so they're having a match in Oklahoma city. This is, I recall, I wasn't there. I was too young, but I heard the story a zillion times from the Gurk and guys that were there. Leo Voss was a referee. I think he was refereeing that match. So, uh, Angelo was getting good heat on Danny. And Danny was selling like a drunk man. And his dad got so goddamn wrapped up in it like, uh, emotionally. He took that old frog sticker, a case knife. Anybody knows anything about pocket knives? Those are case knives have been around forever. And they, you know, shave the hair on your arm. Yeah. It's sharp as hell. If you keep them sharp, dangerous. And he, uh, was looking to stab, uh, I think he also got Danny too. I think Danny gets stabbed. What a sentence. And he was looking to stab. Oh, okay. He's looking to stab, um, uh, Angelo. Right. And he got both of them. And he also got taken to jail. And of course the McGurk got Danny's father off of a attempted murder or attempted this or whatever, but it was a true story. It was all, uh, Angelo was a great heel, very basic, very fundamentally sound. But a, but a really believe, and he had to be a believable heel for Hodge. He just had to be because he was so strong, over so strong, that uh, if you weren't a great heel and cheated to gain the unfair advantage, it, the match might not really take off like he wanted it. So that's what happened there in that in that situation. Is that uh, and a lot of blood, you can imagine. Oh yeah, stitches and all that's horrible. So, or they were lucky they didn't. Worst things didn't happen, but it's a true story. Oklahoma city stockyards Coliseum referee, Jesse fields writes, who's the best referee of all time. In your opinion, Jim, well, there's a lot of good ones. Uh, probably Tommy young. Yeah. He's up there. He'll be in the conversation. Um, Earl Hebner in a conversation without doubt. Uh, I, I always liked, uh, Timmy white, cause he's understated. He didn't notice him. I thought that was kind of cool. Those, those are the three right there that I like, you know, Teddy long wasn't a bad referee, uh, back in the day, but I would say, uh, Tommy young, Earl Hebner, and I'm sure I'm leaving out some, oh, there's a lot of really good ones. Oh yeah. And their, uh, and their role uh, is, uh, yeah. And their role is understated Conrad. Yeah. The role of a referee is understated and the talents that don't have the intellect, quite frankly, the talents that don't have the intellect to utilize the referee to make their presentation better really aren't very bright. They just really don't get it. So it's cause it's always about them. But, uh, those two guys would, would be Timmy white. I always liked Timmy white because he was reliable and he was dependable. Uh, you know, he just did a good, Mike Kyoto. I got a, I couldn't put my, Mike Kyoto was one of the best referees I ever saw. And I yeah. think he still got some tread on the tires. Quite frankly, I wish, uh, oh, he, yeah. we, I wish we were seeing him more in AEW. I like his work simply for that reason, but, uh, it's an under, it's an un, unsung role that if used properly can enhance any match, the referee. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30-year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money. It's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at SaveWithConrad.com.